Hey everybody, it's Doc. Welcome to the channel. Today, we're going to do what's going to be a multi-part series on how to wrap the interior of your GR Corolla. One of my main complaints, or I should say pet peeves, is the fact that I really don't like the piano black that's in this car. Let me show you. For the record, I'm a pretty clean guy, and what you see here is the piano black shows all the dust, shows fingerprints, and it's just generally an unattractive appearance. So my plan is to get a matte black wrap. Um, actually, I'm having a little wrap regret because I watched a video last night where someone did it with uh, a carbon fiber red, and it actually looked really good. But I don't think I'm quite that good yet, and I think the matte black will hide some of my, shall we say, naive mistakes. And you guys get to ride along and see where I make my mistakes, and hopefully you can learn from them. So like I said before, this is going to be a multi-part series. Uh, first, I think we will do a video on taking the center console out and taking it apart. And then also my plan is to uh, pretty much anywhere where you put your fingers, that's where I'm going to put some matte wrap. So we're going to take uh, the the panel out there and we're also going to see if we can wrap that just as it is or if we have to remove that as well. So it'll be a learning experience. Come along for the ride. So the tools that I anticipate that we will need um, we probably won't need all of these trim removal tools, but this is what I have. This is something that I purchased off of Amazon a long time ago and very inexpensive. I, I want to say it was less than $15 or $20. I'll put a link in the description uh, so you guys can find that if you want. And then also I anticipate that we're going to need a pick, a Phillips screwdriver, and maybe a couple of different sized uh, flathead screwdrivers, but that really should be it. All right, so the first step will be to take off the shift knob, which simply screw counterclockwise. And off it comes. And then we have a plastic retaining clip here, which we have to get over this little spot here. And you want to be careful because you don't want to break it. There we go. And that unscrews the same. There's a, there's a spring underneath there. So you want to hold that spring down while you're bringing your little plastic clip off. Just like that. Put that in our little parts bin. There's your spring, and I don't think there's anything else coming out. And then, the, uh, I want to take off this section we first. We want right in these areas with our little tool. And uh, what we can do is I'll try and do that so you guys can see. So you get under there. Just give her a little left. Actually, the other side's already coming. There we go. So we don't want to take out the whole unit, we just want to take out the section with the, the drive mode and the shift boot. And so it's my understanding that if we press down, there we go, and then you just have to kind of finagle this out of there.
Get that out, and then we just have to figure out how to get this undone. I think it might just pull out. Mm -hmm. I think the easiest way to handle that will probably be just to unscrew that. I'll be right back. So we can put, actually we can put this back in if we want. Well, it's going to get in the way of the, the screw a little bit. So there's three screws here, all Phillips heads and short, and I think they're all the same length, so you don't have to worry about mixing them up. There we go. This comes off. First part is free. There we go. Okay, practice makes perfect, and full disclosure, I've done this once before, but I wanted you to see how to do it without making all the mistakes I did, which essentially you pull the e-brake cover first, which it's helpful to have the tool, and uh, the boot just slides off. Sometimes you have to turn it a little bit inside out to get it off. And then you don't even really need a tool to get the uh, center console cover off. Just need to have some strong fingers. There we go. And then it all pops out. There's a plug up here. There we go. And then there's two plugs back here. Both are little push button spades. Yeah, this one's easy. Now they said that it probably won't come out. Are you serious? <laughs> okay, I get that one came out right away last time. Oh there we go. So the little button's right there. And then this one, the little button's inside a little bit further, and that comes out, and then everything lifts out and is free to go. And we're free to move on to the doors. Coming up next. All right, so this is going to be easier than I thought it was going to be. So this panel comes off. Um, so let's see here. There we go. You always want to be careful you don't break any clips. There we go. So that comes off perfectly. And then we want to take this panel off. All right, for this panel, it's probably best to approach it from the front. There we go. Connectors, one in front, and one in back. There we go. And we're free and clear.